Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto. Today's video is a what I eat in a day video. I'm going to be having, normally I just have lunch and dinner, but I do enjoy my coffee. Um, and so I technically don't fast because I do have half and half in it or whatever. And they say that can break a fast. So I don't, I don't fast. I just eat when I'm hungry. That's kind of what um, I've done and I've been successful at it. Last year I lost almost 40 pounds just counting total carbs, eating as clean as possible, um, but not giving myself too much pressure. You know what I mean? Not too much pressure on me. Um, I did not fast. I did not track my macros. I tried to do 20 to 30 carbs a day and that's total carbs. Um, so basically I don't really pay attention to vegetable carbs because I really like vegetables and I don't... Um, I just don't track things. When I'm looking at a package, I'm gonna look at the total carb count, not the net carb count. So um, yeah, I've been very successful. I've been working out consistently for just over a year now. So that is a big part of, I think, my success as well. So if you are interested in that and seeing how I'm maintaining my weight, definitely stick around, hit that subscribe button. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I would love to by the end of the summer, but that's, you know, like 1300 still to go. So I appreciate all of you that have subscribed though and have mentioned that you've shared the channel with everyone. We really appreciate that. But I mean, I'm gonna have some goodies for a giveaway at 10,000, so stay tuned. I might give a sneak peek of that soon if you're interested. Let me know down below. Um, but we're gonna have lunch here in a minute. I kind of got carried away with work, so I didn't get my intro done. I have had two cups of coffee this morning. I had, um, just a Dunkin' K-Cup with some half and half and some stevia. Um, I do put my scoop of collagen in there as well. And that's it really. Um, but I'll probably do an iced coffee here this afternoon too. That's kind of like my afternoon treat. And then, um, so we're gonna have that bread for lunch. And for dinner, I thought I would make a fried rice with cauliflower rice. And you can use any protein that you want. You could do shrimp, you could do chicken, you could do pork. I'm gonna do tofu, as you guys know, but I have that soy-free tofu that I got from um, Fresh Market, and it has not expired yet. I did check this morning, because I'm like, oh my gosh, what if it expired? So we're gonna use that. It is zero carb, too, so I'm excited. But again, you can just replace this with any, any protein that you choose. So um, yeah, that is it. Let's get into this video, I'm hungry. All right guys, it is lunchtime and I'm gonna make a sandwich out of that bread that I made in my meal prep video that I just um, posted today, Monday actually. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it for you. Go check it out. Um, pretty happy with the bread. I got more than 12 slices out of it and I'm almost going to cut thinner slices also because the only thing is it's a little bit dry, but look how dense it is. Like it looks good. So I have a slice of cheese, two slices of some turkey meat, um, like a slice of onion, a slice of a big tomato, I put some bacon on it, some mayo and mustard, and I just, I think that looks delicious. I feel like it's gonna be extremely filling. Also, next I might try a grilled cheese, not today, but a grilled cheese, I'm kind of excited about too. Um, I have some strawberries that I need to get rid of, but I have a feeling this is gonna fill me up, so I'll probably snack on those through the rest of the afternoon too. But yes, this is what's for lunch today. All right, so I'm gonna have my iced coffee before I get back to work. I did just have the sandwich and it is really good. The only thing I can't get past with this bread is how dry it is. It's really dry. So my bites that had like a lot of mayo and mustard in it, um, those were delicious. Those were good because it was kind of like not too much. You know, it wasn't too dry. Oh. That's the only thing I can't get by. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to really slice the um, bread super thin um, just so I can enjoy it more. Um, the flavor's fine, but there's just, it's just a little too dry. But anyways, I just wanted to give you that review because I know a couple of you had asked me from the video too what I thought. So um, I, I don't know how often I'm gonna make it, honestly. I really don't. Um, it wasn't like so life-changing that I'm, I, I've got to have it again. You know, I'm going to finish what I've got though. I'm going to try different things. Um, I'm going to have an iced coffee right now and I'm using my Nespresso. It's kind of loud, but it's the Odasio one. And I'm putting a 
this is not sponsored. It is um, the chocolate caramel salt in it. And I like to put it at the bottom. I just use like this little beaker that I have and brew it in there and then it, um, what is it done? It melts it. It helps dissolve the salt really well. And that's the caramel one. So I'm gonna use my caramel drops and I use, you know, whatever. I haven't put ice in my cup yet, but this is what I'm putting it in. So this is just kind of my afternoon, get me through the day. I'm excited this week because I have Wednesday off. I just decided last week, I'm like, take a day off, you need it. Um, so I'm gonna get a lot done for Mission Keto too. So I'm excited, but this is my afternoon snack. All right, so we are getting started. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you're making um, fried rice, by the way, I'm back, it's dinner time, <laughs> um, is you're gonna wanna chop the protein that you're gonna cook. Chop it into bite-sized pieces. I've got mine. Um, this is the tofu that I'm using. You want to put a little bit of oil in the pan and just kind of cook it. Get the meat cooked all the way till it's browned on the edges. Um, I have come to realize that it's a really good idea to season it the way we're going to be seasoning the rice too so all those flavors come together. So you can use soy sauce if you want, but I am using coconut aminos. I'm just going to put a little bit in here, not a lot. And then I'm also gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper. I haven't made this in so long, so I don't even remember exactly how I did it the first time. <laughs> My second favorite way to make this is with pork, like boneless pork chops. Um, cooking that, oh my gosh, it's so good and like the smaller chunks that you cook it in the better um, i also i'm just getting some garlic bear with me <laughs> that's how long it's been i'm also going to put a little bit of uh ginger i have not done this before but hey you learn you know as you go with cooking and I've learned that ginger is a good thing to have also when you're doing like this kind of a I just got my garlic out with a spatula isn't that funny So I'm gonna continue cooking this. We don't really need to show this, but I'll show you what it looks like after. What you want to do once your protein is cooked, put it like on a paper plate and set it aside. And then we're going to cook the rice. And then we put it all together. But this needs to cook just a little bit more. I like to get everything brown and crispy on the edge. So a few more minutes. All right, so now we're back and I've got all my other ingredients. I've got a bag of cauliflower rice. This is stuff. I had bought this at Costco ages ago. And it's just definitely left in the freezer. But you're gonna wanna put it in the same pan that you cooked the other. And we all know how cauliflower rice is. It is very watery, especially if it's frozen. Um, so I'm gonna cook this for a few minutes. While this is cooking, <laughs> sorry, I was just looking, Ralphie's barking. Um, we're just gonna let this kind of do its thing for a little bit and that's good. But I wanted to talk to you for a minute about um, the vegetables. So I am putting a bag of mixed vegetables. I'm sorry, not a bag, a very little amount of this in there because there's something about that fried rice thing where you want the peas and the carrots at least. I could not find anything with just peas and carrots. So this has been in my freezer forever. I've been planning on making this for months um, but let me just give you an idea. So 10 total carbs per two thirds of a cup is what it says. Okay. Two thirds of a cup is not that much. Everything is dirty. I'm probably going to be putting less than that in here and breaking this up into like five meals. So the amount of carbs that these vegetables are actually going to, you know, have me have carbs it's, it's very minimal it's like 
I'm not eating a whole serving. I'm breaking one serving into, you know, however many servings this is, which is probably going to be four to five servings. So, yeah, so kind of just think of it that way. You obviously don't have to put this in if you don't want to. It's, you know, not everybody wants to do that, and I know corn can be a touchy subject, um, but I haven't ever had a problem with it when I've had it, so I'm gonna have it. There's still a lot of liquid in here, so we're just gonna let this still sit. I want the liquid to kind of evaporate before I start adding all of my sauces and stuff, but as you can see, I've got my protein sitting over here and I tasted it and it's just so full of flavor. So I wish, I don't really have um, measurements and stuff for you. Just eyeball it, taste it as you go. I'm sure we've all made this already at some point, right? <laughs> but if you need measurements, just message me and I'll see what I can do, okay? But yeah, that's what's fun about cooking. You just kind of add it to your to your liking and what you like, you know? Okay, I'm still gonna let this go. So the other ingredients that I have is a couple of eggs because we're gonna need fried rice. I'm gonna be putting the same flavors that I put on the meat, the coconut aminos, a little bit of the ginger paste here, and some chopped garlic. I might do salt and pepper, I'm not sure. And then of course, a little bit of the mixed veggies. But you're gonna be surprised how little I love the flavor of it, but I also mostly like the color of the mixed veggies in it. So I'll bring you back once this is all ready to go. All right, I think we're ready to go. So I'm just going to start adding quite a bit. I like it flavorful. And we all know uh, cauliflower rice is not good unless it doesn't taste like cauliflower rice, right? <laughs> And I personally love garlic, so I got a big old chunk of that in there. So what I'm going to do is stir this around, let it cook for a minute, and just do a quick taste and see where am I at. Is it any good? So let me know down below, what would you put? Would you do shrimp? Would you do chicken? Or would you do pork? Would you do all of the above? <laughs> They're all good, but pork is like my second one. I do love tofu though. And this one I'm excited about. It's a soyless tofu and it's got um, zero carbs in it. So my carbs are really just the vegetables today or tonight for dinner. So Andy and I, he's on his way home. We're going to do our walk. We've been doing a walk a mile a day challenge in June and we haven't stopped yet. And he doesn't even want to take a break. And I was like, good, neither do I. <laughs> but do you see how the, the color has changed because of the flavorings and stuff? So I'm going to do a quick taste. Let me get all this excess off and mixed in. Let's see where we're at. Mm. Oh, man, that's good. I'm making a mess, though. Mm-mm. It is good. I just need to cook this a little bit longer. It's still got a bite to it. I want the rice to be a little bit more soft. Mm -mm. But we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of these in. And I don't have A measuring cup but seriously look at this this is pretty much all I need and that was probably a quarter of a cup quite frankly <laughs> I don't care for the green beans in it but like I said that was all I could find so that's what's going down the mess is driving me crazy I'm gonna add some salt this is the Redmond salt. You can actually get this little salt container on their website too. You know me, I got a code down below. If you wanna save some money. It helps me out a lot too, so thank you in advance when you do that.
I think I'm going to have to get new pans soon. These are so blank and sensitive. Let me do another bite. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Yep. Okay. I forgot. I've got to blend these up real quick. So let me um, scramble these and then we're going to put them in. All right, so now we're just going to make a little well in the rice and stick our scrambled eggs in there and just start cooking it. Just like regular fried rice. And this makes a difference. It really does. Woohoo! Oh yeah. I had to turn the heat down a little bit because some stuff was burning on the bottom of the pan. I think it was from when I was cooking the tofu, but it's okay. Get this cooked really well, and then we're gonna stir it all in. And my ring light keeps going lower and lower, so I'm sorry about that. You know I love my ring light. I love it, okay. So now we've got this mixed in. Oh, 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 look how quick this was too. Seriously, everyone, I'm, I'm really kind of shocked <laughs> myself. It's been a while since I've made this. Now you're gonna add your protein in, stir, and dinner is served. You've got fried rice, keto version. And me personally, mine's a tofu fried rice. You could have pork fried rice. You could have shrimp fried rice. You could have chicken fried rice. Chicken fried steak. Mmm. Okay. All right, so here is my tofu fried rice. And we'll do a taste test, even though I know it's delicious, but... <laughs> Can't see it yet. Keep going. But it is delicious. It's all about <laughs> flavoring. Did you guys see Andy's head sticking in the corner there? Mmm. You must try this. It really is delicious. Tell me if you have any tips or tricks that you use for making it, but it really is so good. I love it. Um, Ralphie loves it too. But yeah, mm. you remember the fried rice. You thought it was pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Andy just got home and we're probably gonna go for our walk here in a little bit. Maybe we'll take you along. You can see Ralphie too. Sound good? <laughs> All right, we are out for our one mile walk. It is day five, yep. is today the fifth? Yep. And we're doing a mile a day in June and Ralphie is absolutely loving it he is exhausted by the time we get back but it's for what five seconds this guy has unlimited energy but yeah our goal is to get it done every single day this month which would give us 30 miles Woo! check off today all right so we are back from our walk and do you remember those fat bombs that I made a couple of weeks ago? It's been a few weeks now. I still have a ton of them left. They're just sitting in my freezer. So I'm going to have one of these tonight. I'm going to have the whole one. It's just, I'm in that mood, if you know what I mean, ladies. Um, but anyways, oh, it's wet up there. But we um, are done for the day. I'm going to have this and that is it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I guess that's it stay tuned for my next video um it'll be friday and i really appreciate all of you guys and your support so stay tuned and i will see you on the next one bye